Fund Me Maybe. Right? There's a song. If you Google this song, you'll find a song that scientists wrote called Fund Me Maybe. To the tune of Call Me Baby. All right? It's a good song. You should Google it. All right. Do we have any questions? I would like to, I would like to develop a bit of an interaction here to perhaps ask some questions about and talk about how we can change the way we write. So let's maybe start over here with this, this uh, NRF structured proposal. If you guys have questions about what you would fill into some of those, those boxes, are you all comfortable with what you would put into some of those, those boxes in a structured proposal? Okay. A lot of this depends on, on the science that you're doing. Okay, a lot of it depends on the science, but you can see the NRF has structured the, the, um, the format of their report kind of in the way that, that Simon Sinek suggested you structure your arguments, right? So it's starting with why. What is the potential impact of your research? Why is it so important that you get funded over someone else? Okay. So maybe we can have a discussion. I'm open to any questions that you have about any part of the pr proposal and the presentation that I gave you. Any questions? That's good. It was crystal clear. <laughs> yes, Matthew. Um, so there's a section there for transformation. Uh huh. Okay, so I think it's a, it's a really good question because a lot of our research, for instance, there's another, there's another line here, transformation and alignment to national imperatives. Okay, so like how does uh, understanding garnet in the Fredford zone or origin of gold in Barberton, all right, or the, met the metallogenesis of gold in Barberton, how does that help society? Okay, let's start with transformation. <coughs> okay, transformation can be a broad topic. So, for instance, you could think about transforming your skills. Right? So you could talk about transformation as in, I am getting more skills than I had previously. Right? Or a certain sector of society, i.e. young students, are gaining skills. Okay? So for some of these, you have to think kind of creatively about how you sell it. But if we think about alignment to national imperatives, some of these relate to the government's strategic goals. All right? So some of that may be upskilling young people. Right? There we go. You've, if you're applying for NRF research funding, right, you are wanting to upskill yourself. Right? Maybe going to a laboratory that doesn't exist in South Africa, you're upskilling yourself. And so a lot, of, a lot of these, the national imperatives, you have to understand what the national imperatives are or what they mean by transformation. Okay, is it simply transformation uh, based on, on, on heritage or previous disadvantagement, right? Or is it a broader transformation? Is it how your research might transform the uh, society in which you're doing the work, right? Maybe the research you're doing, even if it's structural geology research, may uh, transform the society if you understand the, the geology better, right? Maybe that'll open up more minds there. Okay, that, that could both be a transformation and a alignment to national imperatives. So you have to think a little bit out, the, out of the box some, in some of these things, especially if you have very more theoretical topics. Okay. What else? Any other questions? Maybe I can just end off by saying, don't always feel that you have to you know, especially some of these, these lines are, are boxes, right? There's individual boxes that it makes it seem like you have to fill something in. But don't try and force it either, right? Because trying to force it and really you know, squeezing and twisting something so it's, it's, it's an oversell, it's also not going to help you very much. So if you really don't think that you 
meet a certain national imperative, then just say, not applicable. Okay? Because you don't want to try and fool your reviewers either. And just hope that they'll, and just, they'll buy your waffle. Okay. Anything else? Oh, sorry. Manager. Yeah, so, well, that's a good question. Uh, for student funding, for postgrad funding, I'm not really that familiar with it, but I think the NRF is really the, the main place to do that, especially if you're looking for, for, for large funding amounts, right? Things to fund degrees, for instance. There are lots of smaller bodies, like professional societies, that will fund the parts of research. So, like, for the geologists in the audience, the Geological Society of South Africa has small pots of money to provide an air ticket somewhere. Um, a good place to look uh, for funding opportunities, I'm not sure if students get the Wits News. Do you guys get the Wits News email that gets sent out? No. Okay, that's a good place to look for funding. The research office, the research office on their web page normally keeps up-to-date lists of funding opportunities that, have, that are coming out. Okay? Um, I know that there are also some web pages that do sort of database different funding calls. I don't have any at the top of my head, but there are, I'm sure if you Google funding databases, you'll be able to find um, databases for funding. You just really have to keep your eyes and ears open um, for those opportunities. Okay, anything else? Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure, great idea. 